James Naismith is known to be creator of basketball, one of the very popular games played across the globe. He was born in Almonte, Canada in the 6th of November 1861. When he was nine years old, his parents, John and Margaret Naismith, passed away in a typhoid epidemic. He and his siblings lived with their maternal grandmother. After her death, they were brought up by their maternal uncle, Peter Young. Naismith liked to work in the family fields and woods while he was at school. He went to Almonte High School but dropped out after two years to work at a lumber camp as his athletic abilities were greater than his academic skills. However, after a five-year break, he joined school again and completed his secondary education. He earned a BA in physical education at the McGill University in Montreal and later took up a degree course in the field of theology with an aim to become a clergyman. James was immensely interested in sports since the time of his childhood. Although he was not bright in academics, he was known as a smart boy and was the leader among his peers. His keen interest in athletics made him give up the idea of becoming a clergyman and led him to pursue a career as a physical instructor at McGill University. In 1980, he moved to America for a two-year course at the YMCA International Training School in Springfield, Massachusetts. After completing the course, he continued at the same place as a physical instructor. It was here that the game of basketball was born. In 1895, Naismith enrolled for a medical degree at the University of Colorado Medical School in Denver. While pursuing his medical studies, he also worked as a physical director at YMCA Denver. In 1898, Dr. James Naismith joined Kansas University as a basketball coach and physical education instructor. He worked there for 40 years and retired at the age of 76. In 1891, while at Springfield College, James Naismith was asked to invent a game that could be played indoors. The main purpose of creating a new game was to provide physical exercise to the students during long winters. Naismith observed that existing games like football, soccer and rugby were rough games and thought of creating a game that was vigorous and at the same time clear and fair for the players. Dr. Naismith used the softball of soccer and fixed two peach baskets 10 feet above the ground at the two ends of the college gymnasium. The students were permitted to use only their hands to pass the ball between their team members and had to drop the ball into the basket to score a goal. He named the game basketball and came up with 13 basic rules of basketball. The first game of basketball was played at the college gymnasium in December 1891, but the game did not receive much enthusiasm from the students, but it soon gained popularity. Dr. Naismith wanted games to be played for fun and exercise, not with an unhealthy competitive spirit. He strongly believed that spirituality could be achieved through physical education. Basketball gained worldwide popularity and it was introduced at the Berlin Olympics in 1936. Naismith was invited for this event and he also gave out medals to the winning teams. He believed that watching basketball being played internationally was the biggest reward that he got for his invention. Dr. James Naismith has been honored with the opening of the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. He is also recognized by the Canadian Basketball Hall of Fame, Canadian Olympic Hall of Fame and FIBA Hall of Fame. And in the 19th of November 1939, he suffered a brain hemorrhage and 10 years later he died of a heart attack aged 78. Today Dr. James Naismith has been known as father of basketball throughout the world.